Hi everyone. Just want you to know that I've pretty much completed the tank. All I need to do is put fish in it. If you look up under there, I got this, my new spray bar going, shooting water across the top. And behind the roots back in there, there's a power head that pushes water through the roots. Way back in that little nook and cranny back there um, is the filter intake built into the wall. Um, another thing I did was I rearranged the rocks. I, took a, I put a way too many rocks in the, in the last video. So I took a bunch of them out and I added a few um, rocks that are more like the slate wall to give it more realism. And I, may, I have a few more somewhere that I'll pull out and add later. Um, as you can see, the, I tried to do it so that the more worn, river-worn rocks that were eroded and rounded are at the bottom and the more sloughed off pieces are on top. Um, I'm going to show you the spray bar. You can see it inside there, going across the top. There's the filter intake built into the wall. Here's an outside look of the plumbing on the spray bar. Going down to my canister filter, which is a Fluval 405. And I'm going to go back and show you the last feature with the Fluval planted 3.0 light. Um, we're going to do a demonstration of the sunrise and sunset, a preview we'll show you right now. Okay, this is uh, the nighttime version, and it's going to cycle through. I have a really long nighttime. My daylight photo period only starts around 3 p.m. and ends around midnight. Because I like to see the fish when I come home from work. Okay, now it's going to start the sunrise phase. And it's ramping up to full daylight in a second. Now it's full daylight and now we're going to begin sunset. And there you have it. Anyway, thanks for watching.